Hey everybody, welcome to Mammoth Interactive's YouTube channel. First of all, I want to thank you for watching this video. And remember that this channel doesn't do Patreon, instead we sell our digital courses down below. And every single dollar that we get from the products you buy below goes into making more content. The best way to help out this channel and Mammoth Interactive is to subscribe to Mammoth Interactive's huge library of content. Get thousands of hours and hundreds of courses for a low, low price down below. We have a monthly option and a yearly option. Thanks for listening and I'll see you in the video. Hey everybody, welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a simple moving platform here. Now, there are many ways to do this, but this is probably the easiest way. So I'm going to talk about how I'm going to do it. And then I'm going to talk about um, basically what you should do with your games. Okay, so first of all, let's create uh, an actor here. And I'm just going to call this um, simple, let's see, we'll call it moving platform simple. Okay, and there's a reason why I'm doing this, and you'll see why. Um, so if I go into my viewport, add in a cube, let's maybe make this uh, 3 by 3 by 0.2. Yeah, that looks like a good platform. Let's drag that bad boy out here. There we go. Okay, so there we go. We have a nice moving platform here. Uh, maybe let's move it over here. It doesn't really matter. Um, doesn't do anything. But you can stand on it. So we got that going for us, which is nice. Right? All right. Good. Um, so now that we have that going for us, uh, let's go ahead and let's add in the moving part of this. Well, this is actually really simple, okay? Um, and in order to do that, you need to add in a variable. And I'm just going to call this location zero. And I'm going to make this a vector. Now, here's where it's kind of interesting. Instance editable, blueprint read only, show 3D widget, and expose on spawn. So click all of those things and watch what happens. You click on this and you click on the actual location, you can move it. And all this is going to do is it's going to move in between these two locations. Okay, and that's pretty much all you really need to do. Now, this is really nice. Okay, this is so nice that, um, you know, uh, there's a lot of more complicated ways to do this, but I think this is really easy. But we don't need one location. We, of course, need two locations. Okay, so let's go ahead. Let's add in location one. I'm using zero base counting. Go ahead and compile. Remember to set everything up here so the duplication saves you that much time. And it's important to save time because time can actually kill your project. It's happened to me multiple times. So let's go ahead. Let's add in a component here. And we're going to call this interp to movement. And then we're going to drag that out here. Now all this is is that it's, it's basically moving things in between uh, two locations and it's interpolate okay so that's what that stands for and what we're going to do is we're going to go control points all right and we are going to we not get them but set control points okay that's what we're going to do hook that up here all right and then what we're going to do here is we need to set the control point. So we need to make a ray. We're going to add in a pin. Now out of this pin here, we're going to make, we just type in make, it's really the only one there, make interp control point. And by the way, all these things are made from this um, component that we added. If you don't add that component in there, you won't be able to make this here. Okay, so add in location zero. And then um, I think we can actually just copy and paste that here. But... Whenever you copy and paste, you got to look at literally everything you just did, and then we did change it to one here. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Um, let's hop into here for a second. So the duration is one, but here's the cool thing here. Watch this. We can actually drag out. We can set duration. Let's hook that up here. Create a variable here. Call it lower d duration, and make it a float. Change that variable type. Yep. And uh, yeah, I think that looks pretty good here. And compile, everything looks pretty good. Except for we want to add in that duration here. 
and we're going to make duration uh, you know honestly i just want to make it equal to one i know it's the same thing you don't make it 1.2 all right just because it's different here now let's go ahead and compile that everything works and watch what happens oh it moved but it stopped well that's unfortunate well let's take a look at uh one of the things uh that uh you need to check in here so one shot I'm just going to do one. I'm going to go through all these just so you can see. One shot reverse. So it reverses and then stops. And then we have loop reset. That is not useful at all. I, I can think of very few, if anything, where you'd use that. If you have a good idea on where to use that, please post it in the comments because I don't actually know where we'd use it. But what we want is ping pong because that's what we want to do. Okay, so, you know, let's say here um, we, we now have our location here. And, oh, by the way, you can move this anywhere you want. Watch this. Right? <laughs> Here we go. Let's jump on this. And there we go. We're now on this moving platform. You can move it pretty much anywhere. So that is really, really interesting uh, for that simple platform here. And you can, again, you can move it wherever you want. And it will basically interpolate in between the two. Like, that's that's really what it's doing here. Uh, it's It's not doing anything else. Okay, so there you go. That is pretty much how you do that here. And ping pong is pretty good. Um, but usually you want something a little slower than that. So maybe 40. I don't know, that's way too slow. 20. So you can see here that, you know, if you're going in a game here and you're going across a bridge, that might be something what you might do. But nevertheless, you can go change it to whatever you want, all right? Okay, cool. So that's one way to do this here. I'm going to break this video up into another part, and I'm going to show you something cool in the next video. So see you then.